Donnie. Hey, pretty girl. Guess what today is? Day 1000. That's right, today's day 1000. Yay! Good morning, Ruby. I had a little accident this morning that required me to get out the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner at 6.20 a.m. Yep. So we're running just a smidge behind today. We can't be late on day 1000. 7 a.m. and it's still pitch dark out here. We're expecting some rain today. I don't think a lot of rain, but I think it's gonna be pretty much cloudy today. So I don't think we're gonna see much of a sunrise. And I also think it's making it look even darker than it would normally look this morning. But it's warm out there at 56 degrees and it's on its way to close to 70 again today. So, um, Don has a blood appointment scheduled. He's over the required, what is it, 54 days, 56 days. But, you know, um, he just missed the one in Fuquay, I think, at the Catholic Church or at the uh, American Legion. And it caused him to, like, have to wait an additional three weeks. But, um, apparently there's a shortage now because of the coronavirus. I guess people aren't getting out and donating like they would. Uh, although I would say that the blood drive place is probably pretty safe because A, they're disinfecting there all the time. If you walk in and you have a fever, they're going to know it right away. And generally people that are only feeling particularly well try to go give donate blood in the first place. So I would say that's not one of the places I would avoid. But at any point, Walmart has now scheduled drives today and Saturday from 4 to 8 p.m. to try to get people out and Don is going to try he says to get up there today um, four or five o'clock and, and go ahead and donate even if he has to wait a little bit that um, you know if they really need it he's gonna he's gonna show up over there so well we are getting treated to just a little bit of color but it's fading fast I'm not spending any real time downtown this morning because um, Panther has an 8.30 vet appointment and um, I pretty much got to get home, load him up, and leave. And um, you know, Panther's been really, really good about going the last two years, but I still remember the year that he swatted me pretty good. So I have a healthy fear, respect. Um, level of caution in dealing with him. I mean, I only pick him up once a year. He's my most feral cat. Um, so, but I'm sure it'll be fine. He's been really cuddly lately and, um, you know, I'm basically able to sneak up on him and he's in the crate before he sort of knows what's happening to him. So let's keep our fingers crossed today goes that smooth too. I think I said that Tux's appointment was tomorrow. Um, I actually have Tux with me. I went out on the porch to see Panther and um, he wouldn't come off his heating pad. He kind of acted like he knew something was up. I'm not sure why. And um, I don't want to pull him off of the heating pad. I have, I'm, it, for years we couldn't go over to the chair to touch him. Um, if he didn't come down to greet us and now he accepts head pats on the, while on his throne <laughs> so um, I didn't want to jerk him off of his chair I don't want to try to pick him up that's his safe spot if he's in the chair you know you might can touch him on the head but you're not gonna yeah I tried to get him with cookies treats and everything to come over near the front door near his food and water and he wasn't having no part of it so after two or three minutes of trying and I'm running late we just went and grabbed Tux who of course is about the easiest cat on the planet to crate <laughs> so I've got Tux with me this morning we'll try for Panther again tomorrow do you want to come out do you want to come out you're purring on the blanket can you come out without me having to pull you maybe just a little coaxing Come on, bud. I came home and I let him out and he's the only one that doesn't run and not want to have anything to do with me after. What you need, buddy? What you need? You need some more love? So I'm going shopping with Michelle 
and poor Don, he's back out to the garage to uh, finish up the LED yeah, project. We're yeah. hoping to carry it in the house this afternoon. He's yeah. close. He's close. Yeah, I'm thinking by the time I leave to get Johnny, I'll be done. Yeah. And then he can run. He's got his whole oh, day is like backed out nonstop. I feel sorry. No, he's going to no run. He's going to try to go give blood. He's got to do a little more thing with the XB. Yeah. It's like, wow. Yeah. I, I love you. Oh, and, and, and he's got to go get Johnny from school. I got to go get Johnny from school. I'll make you a steak when I get home. Oh, you're so sweet. I came out the back door and Gray, for the second time now, she took off up into the woods. She saw the crate and she's holding it against me that I took Tux to the vet. This is not fair. Now, this is Slate that's close to me. Gray is gone somewhere. Good morning! Today. Yeah, when a good good mood got on my colors. Yes, I'm gonna <laughs> say hi to Jeff. <laughs> the little restaurant next to Little Angel has closed, and normally over here would be where the parking would be for that. But as I was sitting waiting for Michelle, which I wasn't waiting long, Thank but you. but look over here in front of the store. There's like it's Senior Day, 10% discount, and there's like nobody here. This is not the regular Tuesday, Wednesday, senior day crowd. Maybe they should do a 30%, see if that makes them come out. <laughs> Worked for me. <laughs> Did you find a SpongeBob to match your sweatshirt? I found for you. Should I go steal all the jewelry? Walk right quick, there. walk quick. <laughs> When you buy something voluminous at the first stop, you got to get it out of the cart to make room for the next stop. I guess a few more people have showed up now. I'll let you know inside. It'll be, I'll be able to tell if I'm bumping into elbow to elbow with people like usual or not. You thinking Sean needs that at work? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Michelle often buys fish tank stuff for her turtles and her spider and whatever else that looks like it needs to be at your house. And I'm sorry, but there's one more piece down here too. <laughs> oh my, there's another one. Too. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you were gonna go out and buy real money fish tank stuff, that would have been what you would have picked. It's all gargoyles. Frozen wrapping paper, and Michelle found the perfect sympathy card. Yeah, and I found a really nice hand towel, maybe for me. Michelle, don't walk in front of me, I might not follow. Don't walk behind me, I might not lead. Just walk beside me and be my friend. Aww. Really need for these tablecloths with the napkin sets to be big enough for my table, but they're not. All right, Jaws meets SpaceX. She needs to hold up her head. Me? Yeah, your head. Oh. Hold up your head. Yeah. I was like, I was holding yeah, it up. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, your head. That's the glass, cool. the glass head. <laughs> I'm thinking this is for Johnny's cars. Now, obviously, this is for baby dolls and not a real baby, but still, it's very cute. So, yeah, I can treat her in style today. That's right, in style. <laughs> Michelle and I, in this uh, shopping center where we've come to eat at the uh, Blind Pelican, the great fish place, it's also less crowded than normal. I mean, it's just, it's kind of weird. It's like, I guess people are really staying home. I guess the more they stay home, the more we can come out and shop, huh? No. <laughs> I uh, got, a, got an update from the governor that he declared a state of emergency, so. I totally feel like we're okay to be out today, but I guess at this point it's on a day and week by week basis. Aren't they cute? Michelle and I are very predictable. She got a Connecticut style lobster roll versus yep. a what? What's a the Maine other? Is, Maine? It's cold. Maine is okay, cold. and Connecticut is warm, and I got um, Ted Williams shrimp. It is absolutely pouring out there, so we'll be sitting here for just a few more minutes hoping that it's gonna let up. Either that or we'll be summoning Ruby to come pick us up on the sidewalk while we wait under the overhang. I have Michelle watching the Thousand Day video. Johnny and Ariel are both a lot smaller. <laughs> just a few drops coming down now. We were able to wait it out in there. It was very relaxing and enjoyable and we're pleasantly, pleasantly full now. All right, we'd like it to dry up now. It's official. 
There are a lot of new dishes here this week. It's packed. You won't, really? But those are too cute. You can't leave them. They're little people people. So you have a box of napkin packages that you can just kind of pick the one for the right theme. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have placemats like that, so I, you know, I get it. We go through them. Do they make things like that just for you? Hold up the other one that shows the picture just in case it's not abundantly clear that it's a coffin. <laughs> Once I make them, they won't look like coffins, yep. though. <laughs> I found a really nice bath towel in here. I really like it. I got a storage bin for some more Tesla Hot Wheels. Oh, yeah. A very feminine, springy looking top that I think will be comfy. And a black cat mug. Similar to one I found before. And then some kitty cats. They're sticky. They're not, it's not just pull off paper. It's actually got stick on it. And there's a couple more shirts in there too. So I'd say I'm doing pretty good in here today. All right, we got a whole 30 minutes to shop so that we're not late for Ariel. <laughs> We think I might have got a pair of gold earrings at Guardian Angel off of the costume jewelry rack. Um, no hallmark. So, Miss Laura never prices anything without a hallmark on it. Yeah. Here's a splash of Easter. This is me and Michelle. I like the leprechaun and she's all into the snake. But the hippo and the chick and the sham locker were pretty cool too. Thanks for taking the cart back. Hello, lady. Yeah, we did make it through there in 30 minutes. It's 426. We're, Bye. We're doing... It's only 503 and Ariel's calling. It's in here and Donnie's hooking it up. Yay. I'm so excited. I think it turned out great. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. All right, so when you're pointing the remote at it, you've got to point it at the controller to get right. it to change colors and go power on and off. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, but we are going to have to do... One, one little thing? thing? Okay. No, no, we don't have to move that at all. I'm just... I guess I thought this plug was going to be... So poor Don's pretty exhausted. Yeah. It was out in the garage working on the LEDs for what, at least six more hours today? Yeah, yeah but I finished it. Yep, and uh, ran and got Johnny from downtown. Yeah. And um, I ordered a new air filter for the XB and a windshield wiper blade thing. Yeah, and Don's had him a breakfast for dinner and he is going to go try to give blood up at Walmart. Try to go get blood. It's yeah, the right yeah. thing to do, so get we appreciate you yeah. doing that, Donnie. I'm trying. Are you driving Ruby? Uh, or I, the XB. I was just going to take the Honda. Okay. Yeah, the, uh, until I, I didn't put the old air filter back on. Right. And because then I would have, it would have taken 10 minutes to put it on because it, it have to call up And then the you'd car. have to take it back off. Yeah. So is it coming into like AutoZone yeah. in town or no, something no, like that? It's coming in tomorrow. Um, it's coming uh, Amazon. Amazon. Um, 12th, which is Thursday. So it'll be here Thursday probably. And that's when they're picking the car up. So that'll be. Well, they'll be, be here Thursday. I don't yeah. think they plan to leave until like Friday or Saturday. Sure, so, sure. You know. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, Don uh, is giving blood right now. So it doesn't seem like he had to wait a horrible amount of time. He um, <clears throat> messaged me that it was going to be a great sunset and I should take this opportunity to go out for a ride. So I'm in Ruby. And I'm going for a ride and I agree it does seem like it's shaping up to be uh, pretty out there well it was pretty but it didn't last very long it was an easy 107.3 miles today uh, hi Bubba you want to hit a ride with me to Greece <laughs> hi Bubby so it's begun I've started packing and you'll be happy to know that I looked through the shirts and attempted, keyword attempted, reorganize them. Hi, Bubba.